Hello everyone, welcome back to CFT College. I'm Ashkar and this is another tutorial on ANSYS Fluent. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, report definitions in ANSYS Fluent and in other software, for example, CFX, Star CCM, uh, and also in post processing software like CFT Post, Take Blood, and ANSYS Insight. Uh, particularly in this video, I'm going to focus on mass weighted average versus area weighted average. These are two types of uh, reports that we can uh, use in any CFT software to export uh, some data. For example, uh, the average pressure uh, at the inlet and at the outlet, uh, you know, the velocity, the temperature, the average of these variables. But uh, when should we use mass weighted average and when should we use area weighted average? If you see this video, if you watch this video until the end, you will uh, understand the difference. So before starting the video, please subscribe the channel. Please share these videos with your friends. Uh, introduce us to them. Uh, I have many uh, other tutorials and videos about CFD using uh, ANSYS Fluent uh, from pre-processing to post-processing. And uh, everyone can join and uh, enjoy uh, these videos so uh, don't forget to like these videos and share them with your friends uh, on this slide you can see the formula behind these kinds of uh, average uh, you know definitions uh, behind these reports uh, if you can if you see here area weighted average has a very simple formula. 1 over A, A is the area times integral of phi. Phi is the variable, for example, pressure, velocity, temperature, anything. Times the A, uh, the differential, the area of the differential element, which is the area of the phase. Uh, for example, if you want to calculate uh, the velocity at the outlet, in ANSYS Fluent, you will uh, define a report uh, with area weighted average of the velocity uh, at, the, at the outlet. So uh, the outlet of, the, or dom of your domain has, uh, I don't know, 100, 100 faces. The face, I mean the face of each cell of the CFD domain, where, which is uh, on the outlet. So uh, each face has uh, some area and uh, the parameter, the variable phi has a value on that face. So if you multiply uh, the area of, the, of that uh, element of that face to the variable, and then you uh, take the integral and then divide it by the total area of the surface, I mean the outlet, for example, in this uh, example, you will have the area weighted average of the velocity at the outlet. So it's really simple and uh, we use it uh, for for example, when you want to calculate the pressure at the inlet, the pressure at the outlet, uh, the velocity at the inlet, the velocity at the, at the outlet, uh, or some kind of these parameters. Uh, regarding temperature, actually temperature is the problem because uh, sometimes students uh, ask me uh, if I want to calculate the average of temperature. Should I use mass weighted average or uh, area weighted average? It depends, actually. If you uh, want to calculate the temperature of uh, a wall, for example, the wall of the tube, 
the wall of the pipe, the wall of the, I don't know, uh, a house, a home, uh, a turbine, uh, the, for example, blade. So if you want to calculate the average temperature uh, at any wall, you need to use area weighted average of the temperature at that wall. But for example, if you want to calculate the bulk temperature of the fluid uh, at the outlet, at the inlet, uh, at any uh, cross section or plane uh, in your CFD domain, you should use mass weighted average. Look at uh, the third formula we have on this slide, which is the definition of the bulk temperature. You can find it in any uh, heat transfer book. Uh, this is from incorporate I think. So the, temp uh, the bulk temperature equals the integral of rho density, u uh, velocity, Cp, specific heat, T temperature, dA, which is the uh, area of the face at the outlet, inlet, or any cross section or plane, or isosurface, I don't know, divided by integral of rho u Cp dA. So if we consider Cp is constant, actually in most of the uh, fluid flows, we consider Cp as a constant value. So Cp cancels out from uh, the denominator and the numerator. So we will have rho ut dA, integral of this, divided by integral of rho u dA. So now compare this formula with the formula which is behind mass weighted average. Integral of rho density, phi, which is uh, variable, here it's t, and uh, the absolute value of velocity, uh, dot product uh, of the velocity and dA. So this uh, is the same as this formula, integral of rho t velocity dA, divided by rho v dA. Now uh, you understand when you want to calculate the bulk temperature of the flow at any uh, plane uh, or at inlet or outlet, uh, you should use mass weighted average if Cp is constant. If you have, uh, you know, if your the Cp is not constant, for example, it varies with temperature, or uh, the more, yeah, mostly temperature, or any other parameter, you should consider that in the formula. And I think you have to define this formula, influent using expressions, uh, and in CFT post also you can define it using uh, an expression. It's easy, but uh, it's not complicated, I know that, but uh, that's it. So if you know the formula behind these uh, reports, then you can understand what should you do and then you will know what you are doing. So many students, they just uh, do some, you know, uh, simulations without knowing anything about what uh, they are doing. So please uh, understand these and search for your questions. Now, uh, for the last part of this video, let us go to ANSYS Fluent and see uh, where we can find these types of reports. So if uh, the simulation is over and at the end of that you want to find the average velocity at inlet or outlet or any other surface, you can go to reports. Then here you have surface integrals. As you can see, we have many different options. In one video, maybe one day I explain these. But this is area weighted average. This is mass weighted average. You can choose it. Then here, uh, under field variable, you should uh, choose the variable you want, as I mentioned, for pressure, for velocity, uh, for temperature or on the walls, uh, 
for vorticity, for example, it's rare, but uh, whatever. Uh, you can use area weighted average, and here you should uh, select the surface, for example, outlet. And if you calculate, press the calculate button, you can see the average of velocity. And for, for example, the bulk temperature of the fluid, the flow, you should choose mass weighted average. And here, for example, the static temperature, if you want to calculate the average of total temperature, you can change it. And here, you can have that also. And uh, let me check, okay. Regarding turbulence, I will have, uh, I will present a video uh, over uh, on uh, how to check white plus because lots of students uh, do these averaging on y on y plus this is wrong and you have you don't uh, need to do that you shouldn't actually do that but regarding y plus I will have uh, another video you can check that uh, but if you are at the beginning of the uh, simulation and you want to, for example, you have a, a transient simulation and simulation and you want to uh, have the uh, bulk temperature of the flow or, uh, you know, the velocity of, of the flow at the outlet. Uh, you want to see that during the simulation, for example, to check the convergence, see, or to check uh, or to have that uh, in a transient simulation. You can uh, create many monitors and report definitions in both steady and transient simulations. Then uh, you should do this. You should right click on report definition, click on new surface report. Here you can see area weighted average. Here you can see mass, mass weighted average. Then, for example, for temperature, for bulk temperature of the flow at the outlet, you can create this report definition and for example bulk temperature outlet that's it it's easy uh, so uh, I think it's enough for this video in this video uh, I talked about I talked about you know mass weighted average and area weighted average the difference between them and uh, now I think you know that uh, where you should uh, use them and uh, now you know the formula behind these uh, averaging uh, or you know reports so thank you for watching this video uh, please give us a thumbs up and share these videos with your friends thank you for watching again until the next video take care of yourselves and bye bye